It's an early November morning, and while most people are asleep, the Pirates are getting to work. Their journey for success starts today. After a poor showing last season, the Pirates are revamped and ready to get back to work. Last year, the young team struggled in what was supposed to be a successful year. Last season, I thought we could have we could have did a better job of playing together as a team. Everyone was kind of doing everything for themselves instead of playing together as one. I thought we could have been a better unit. Last season, we didn't play as a cohesive unit. Um, uh, we could have improved on a lot of things. We were really close off the court, but uh, on the court, uh, we didn't have a lot of chemistry. We didn't succeed in sharing the ball. We didn't play together. We didn't play for each other. Um, we were selfish and we did not play selflessly. Last season, I thought that as a team, we were the 99% there. That 1% really made a difference that came with those 10 losses. If some people were together as, as like, you know, little, like little groups, but we weren't together as one. If we could just figure out a way to mesh as brothers instead of just teammates. This year, the young team has a year of experience under their belts. Returning four of their five starters from last year, they expect big things. I think our team this year is going to turn a lot of heads. I think we're pretty young, we only have three seniors, but uh, as a team, we're pretty close-knit. Everyone kind of likes each other. Uh, and just off the preseason and the summer alone, I think we have a lot going for us, and I think it could take us deep this season. This year, you know, I really just hope we play together. Um, I want to win some championships, TOC if possible. You know, I really want to get as far as we can get. One of those four returning starters is junior guard Ashton Miller. Ashton comes from a legacy at the prep, being the cousin of prep basketball legends Ashton. He's tournament. Gibbs. Got to let it go. Releases it in time. Sterling. Cena to inbound. Gibbs. Gibbs the step back for the win. And TJ Gibbs. And five. Five rebounds, that is. Gibbs using the body up wow. and in. Wow. So Ashton, first off, I would like to say like he's he's a part of that little group that I call like the strap guys who can like shoot really well. Because he doesn't really miss. In a game the other day, he wasn't really missing, so he's a really good shooter. And that's something he improved on since last year. He dribbles the ball really well. He's a good point guard, gets everyone in position, and he can pass really good too. Ashton's a great guy. Um, I've known him since my sophomore year when he was a freshman. Um, we were able to kind of bond a lot on our trip to Myrtle Beach um, in the Beach Ball Classic. So, I mean, Ashton's definitely a great guy. He's a great guy to be around. He's a funny guy. Whether physically or verbally, junior Jordan Walker hopes to make his presence known on the court this season. Jordan brings a lot of energy to practice and games and stuff like that. You know, when everyone's like not wanting to play hard and stuff like that, Jordan's usually the guy to get everyone going. Um, He's really, he's one of the vocal, vocal leaders on the team. He does a really good job of talking. He can really shoot, he can pass, he can dribble, he can do, he can do basically all. He's probably like one of the coolest teammates I've ever had as far as like, like fashion and stuff like that. He's a pretty cool guy. Jordan Walker, very intense guy. Jordan is great at getting his teammates to be intense and serious about what they're doing. So even in practice, even in layups, he's just always clapping, always just kind of yelling at us. If somebody misses, he's telling them to do push-ups. If somebody does something bad, he's telling them what they did wrong, and he's not afraid to do that, which I really appreciate as a player, and I think everyone else does. I've known Jordan. I've known Jordan since like fourth or fifth grade. We played AAU basketball together for a long time. Uh, we've been through a lot together. I've been to South Carolina, Florida with him, just for tournaments and stuff. So Jordan's definitely one of my closest friends. Last year, the team seemed to lack leadership. They hope to find that this year in senior forward Alex Amegwu. A sophomore year transfer from Gil St. Bernard's, Alex has seemed to find his role at the prep. Alex is a really, really good shooter too. Um, he can rebound, he's really athletic. He can really like push us to, you know, do things that we weren't able to do last year. Undoubtedly one of the key factors on this Pirate team is sophomore guard Jabri Abdul-Rahim, son of NBA veteran Sharif Abdul-Rahim. With the third pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Vancouver Grizzlies select Sharif Abdul-Rahim from the University of California. The earliest a freshman has ever gone in the NBA Draft, Sharif Abdul-Rahim. 
Now Abdul Rahim gonna take it through the paint and he's gonna get the roll. So Sharif Abdul Rahim already off with an eight point first quarter. Jabri is ranked in the top 10 among players in this class. With Jabri, he's, he can shoot the ball really well off the dribble. He's just a good overall player. Brings a lot of attention and he's getting better. Jabri is uh, one of the most talented kids I've ever played with. And he's really good to have in those late game situations because he's just, he's so dynamic and unique as a player. Uh, and it's something you don't really see, especially in high school basketball. As the season approaches, the Pirates have one thing on their mind, Immaculate Conception. Headed by star guard and Syracuse commit Jalen Carey, Immaculate Conception looks to be a force in the state this year. They will be the Pirates' first and possibly biggest challenge of the season. Immaculate, very good team. So they're one of our main rivals. Um, they bring great competition to our conference. It's one of those games where you have to really focus, lock in, and bring it all, bring it all, bring it all.